Many hundreds of years ago, the good King Richard, known as Richard the Lionhearted, left England to take part in the Crusades, the war against the heathens who had captured the holy city. In his absence, he placed his brother John on the throne. As soon as he was king, John turned on the good nobles of the kingdom, stole their goods, and drove them out of England. Among these nobles were the old Earl of Huntington and his son, Robin. Father, I've come to say goodbye. Robin, where are you going? To Sherwood Forest. King John has declared me an outlaw, and an outlaw I will be. In Sherwood Forest, Robin Hood banded together with other young men like himself, banished by the wicked king. Men like Will Scarlet. Outlaws we are, Will Scarlet but outlaws such as never were before and never will be. Just how do you mean, Robin Hood? I mean this, Will. No, let me show you. Do you see those two fat men coming down the road? I see them. A couple of merchants, rogues and wealthy. And do you see that old woman in rags, weeping in sheer hunger? I see her too. Well, watch. And keep a hand to your arrow in case I need help. <laughs> And so quickly, they became known far and wide. Robin Hood and his merry men of Sherwood Forest, taking from the evil to give to the poor, defenders of the weak and oppressed, the one hope of England's people. Sometime later, Robin set off by himself in the forest. He started across a bridge which lay across a stream a bridge consisting of a single log of wood. But facing him, blocking the way, was a stranger, a tall man with broad, powerful shoulders. I'm afraid there's only room for one of us to cross at a time. I think it ought to be the better man. Stand and fight! <laughs> with only wooden sticks as weapons, they fought long and hard. Finally, with one quick, powerful motion, the stranger knocked Robin Hood into the stream. Ah! <laughs> well, well done, fellow. <laughs> what, what do they call you? John Little is my name. John Little. <laughs> well, I'll call you Little John. And I want you to join my band as my next in command. <laughs> Now the band of merry men was complete. And just in time, for King John had posted a reward of 10,000 pounds for the capture of Robin Hood. And none was trying harder to win that reward than the Sheriff of Nottingham. Robin, I have news. The Sheriff of Nottingham is staging an archery contest with a golden arrow as the prize. A golden arrow? What a prize. His purpose in holding the contest is to lure you there. Ah, uh, that may be, but I shall go anyway. In disguise. The distance will be 50 paces. You, that beggar over there, get out of the way. Hi? Why, I'm one of the marksmen, sir. You? A marksman? <laughs> That's rich. <laughs> one by one, the finest bowmen in the land shot their arrows. Finally, one arrow lay in the exact center of the circle, a bullseye. Pardon, Sheriff, I have not yet competed. You? Well, maybe it will bring us a laugh. Robin let fly. A perfect shot right on top of the arrow in the center, splitting it down the middle. Robin had won. A shot like that? Only one man in all this land can shoot so well? Robin Hood, after him, catch him! But the sheriff was too late. Robin was already speeding back to Sherwood Forest. Yeah. 
As Robin entered the forest, a knight appeared and challenged him. In the midst of their battle, the knight suddenly put down his sword. Enough. Enough. I didn't recognize you. What? Why, it's your majesty. King Richard the Lionhearted. Back from the crusade. Robin Hood, your exile is over. You and your men, come back to your homes. But Robin Hood and his men declined the king's offer. They preferred to remain in Sherwood Forest together, living their adventurous lives, taking from evil men to give to the poor. Yeah.